Hi, Purple Room. I have a painting activity today and I wanna show, um, that I wanna share with you. This is something that we do at school. We paint with these things at school. Um, you might have to look around your house and ask your family to help you look for things or maybe you have different ideas, but think outside of the box. You don't always have to paint with paintbrushes. Yeah, those are great, you can paint with paintbrushes. But what about kitchen items? This is, these are meshers. And they have different, different uh, designs on them, different types of meshers. But I wanna paint with these. We have different types of things to paint with at school. Um, so you would have to ask your parents for permission before you grab things. Or maybe you ha already have some play toy, play uh, kitchen utensils. So what I did is I put some paint on a paper plate. Um, I did a metallic blue, a yellow. And this is supposed to be, it says red, but it looks kind of orange or kind of a coral color. And then I, this one is really neat. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see it. makes a squiggly line and kind of mix the paints together. Now, I'll try this one, see what this one looks like. I'm just painting on some lined paper. That is what I had here. I only have tiny little pieces of construction paper. And this one turned out pretty neat too. Look at that, mixing those together. That's pretty neat. I have one more thing I want to show you. These things, I think I got these from a neighbor who was moving. These aren't things that I use in my kitchen. Um, a neighbor was moving or I maybe got some things from a garage sale. I don't know. These things, I just keep these at the house for when my niece and nephew come. They don't come very often because they live a few hours away. But when they come in the summer, they I pull out some things from the basement and they like to play with these. Look at this. This is like an old whisk. It's got a, it's kind of hollow in the center. It's more like a, well now I put paint all over it, but whatever. It's a spring. It has a little spring in it. So, well, you know what? I may have to, to blink it down and then see what it'll do. Blink, blink, blink. As I get some paint off, it starts to look really cool. This one started out kind of looking like a tie-dye. That's a, look at this. That one's cool. And I know my niece and nephew, they like to have um, these kind of things at their house. They keep old utensils outside for their their sandbox when they're they're getting uh, getting dirty. They like to do that kind of stuff. If you don't have paper at your house, maybe you have, this is a car, piece of cardboard that came in something. Um, you could paint on that, that'd be cool. And maybe just look around your house. Maybe you have some things in your, um, like you have a play kitchen at your house. Maybe you have a, some little pieces from a play kitchen that you could play with, or even a spatula would be, maybe make a neat print. Just check out different things. You could even move paint around with a fork. I hope you have find something fun to paint with. Bye.